Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Kevin Lee. Alright, so today I'm here to show you on how to calculate the portfolio return and also the portfolio variance. Okay, so here we have the example. Okay, so given the following information related to the stock. So here we have the information of the stock A and also the stock B. Okay, and here we are given the invested amount. For the stock A, we have 20,000. And then for the stock B, we have 30,000. Okay, so before we find the portfolio return or the portfolio variance, always remember the first thing that we have to find is the weightage. Okay, the weightage for the stock A and also the weightage of the stock B. Okay, so the weightage of the stock A can be calculated by using the following ways. First, you have to take the invested amount for the stock A and divided by the total, which is the 20,000 plus another 30,000. Okay, because this thing is representing our total investment in these two share or stock. So through this method, we can calculate the weightage of the stock A. So after we calculate, the answer should be around 0 0.4. Then next, for the weightage of the stock B, we have to do the same thing to get the answer. So here we have to take the invested amount for stock B, which is 30,000 divided with the total investment just now, which is 50,000. So we will get the final answer of 0 0.6. So that's how we get the weightage of the stock A and also the stock B here. So how to calculate the portfolio return? Always remember, the way of calculating the portfolio return is actually quite similar to the expected return. So first, we have to put the weightage of the stock A and then we're multiplying with the percentage, okay, or the return, okay, given um, the return of the stock A actually. So over here, the return of the stock A is not given. Let's say um, the return of the stock A here is 12%. And let's say the return of the stock B here is 10%. Okay, so this is how we find out the portfolio return. The weightage of the stock A multiplying with the 12%. Plus the weightage of the stock B multiplying with the return of stock B. And then by using a calculator and you make it the following answer. Over here will be 4.8 plus 6. So the total portfolio return will be 10.8%. As simple as this. And this is how we find the portfolio return. So next, let me show you how to calculate the portfolio variance. So for portfolio variance, we have two simple formula to follow, okay, before we find the portfolio variance. So for this part, I usually will prefer the second equation here, sorry, second formula here. And this is one of the easy formula that we can follow. What we need to do is we just sub in all the figures into the formula and we're going to get the portfolio variance. So these symbols is actually representing the portfolio variance. And this symbol is representing the weightage of the first stock. So let's say the weightage here, we are referring to the weightage of stock A. So we're going to put 0 0.4 square. Don't forget, we have to put an equal here. And then after that, we have to put multiply. And this thing is actually representing the standard deviation. But we have to put a square here. So indirectly means the variance of the stocks. So this part, I will usually tell students that this thing is representing the standard deviation. So what you need to do is you just take the standard deviation, 0 0.13, it's already given here. And then power 2, and then plus again. So what we need to do is just follow the formula. So next thing will be the second weightage, which is the weightage of stock B, 0 0.6. And then we have to put a square and multiplying with the standard deviation, of the stock B and then square. So 0 0.12 and then square again. And after that, we have to plus the 2 and multiplying with the weightage number 1, which is 0 0.4 just now, multiplying with the weightage number 2, which is the 0 0.6. So another symbol here is actually representing this symbol, yeah, is representing the correlation between these two stocks. So the correlation is also given already, which is 0 0.4. So we sub in 0 0.4 
and then multiply again the standard deviation for the stock one which is the stock a and also the standard deviation of the stock b okay so the standard deviation of the stock a is 0 0.13 and multiply again with the standard deviation of the stock b so this is how we can get the portfolio variance okay but however we have to calculate the things and calculate the figure one by one okay so that we can get a more accurate answer so the first part we have is 0 0.4 square multiplying with 0 0.13 square and we're going to get a very small number here okay so that's why we have to key in carefully so it's 0 0.002704 okay for the second part here i'm going to use different color so let's say i'm using red color here for the second part so this part i'm using 0 0.6 square times 0 0.12 square okay then i will get the uh, following answer okay i will get this answer plus 0 0.005184 as simple as this then lastly will be the last part where i have to multiply all the number here okay so make sure you key in all the number carefully okay so make sure you don't miss out any numbers here so the answer that you can get over here should be around 0 0.0029952 so don't forget students okay after you calculate all the figure here the last thing that you have to do before you get the final answer is to double check all the answer that you get just now okay so i double check for the first one is correct the second one the 0 0.6 square times 0 0.12 square we have 0 0.005184 last but not least this is the part where we have to calculate with you know uh, with a full attention okay make sure you don't key in any numbers wrongly okay right so the final answer here is 0 0.0029952 okay so after that this number have to plus the all the number in front there then we will get the following answer the following answer will be 0 0.0108832 okay so basically this is how we find the portfolio portfolio variance hope this video can help you in finding your portfolio variance. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye.